engaged in space travel at the time. I always found that curious. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Protean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished. And if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried. None succeeded. I had no idea Protheans were so... severe. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime, it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. Well, if we don't finish it soon, the same will be true of us. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanum. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes. Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system. Planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. Thank you for talking with me.
never imagined actually meeting a Prothean. This has been amusing. Oh? To discover the most primitive races of my time now rule the galaxy. The Asari, the humans, the Turians. There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies. Yeah. Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik, though I still need time to recover. The shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. We're just glad to have you aboard, Javik. Heck yeah, we got Prophean on our team. I wonder if I could talk to him still. Oh! I got a new rifle. So much has been lost. So much has changed. And yet the Reapers are still here. For me, it was only yesterday. Our empire spanned the galaxy. Now we are only a myth. Nice. <clears throat> I we I got a Prothean in my team. Na 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 na. I'm guessing they're not gonna have any new dialogues. I still can't believe it. A real live Prothean. <laughs> Doc must be over the moon. You could say that. I hear the guy's not all there. Exactly. Damn. <laughs> I can't imagine. Brought forward 50,000 years. Last of your kind. That's bound to screw with your mind. Yeah. Well, here's hoping he can help us with the Reapers. Oh, right, well, that's dialogue, but not what I was expecting. Um, let's go see Liara and see what she her new dialogue is and stuff. For the people who lost their lives. Oh. Darn it, wrong way. I'm running. I'm running. Come on, open. Thank you. Huh, discount of power. Discount of power. Discount of you know what power fuck it. A Prothean. A living, breathing Prothean right below me. He's not what I expected. Me neither. He was a little cold when I tried to talk. I understand the shock of waking up again. His species gone. But a Prothean, Shepard. There's so much he could tell us. It's good to see you. Okay, so when they don't want to talk, they just... Okay. That's how it is. Good. 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 Which means I can do another mission. Mission. I got a new message. Nice. Like, do you want to talk? Those poor colonists on Eden Prime. First the Geth attack, now Cerberus. For what it's worth, our new crew member doesn't need a translator himself, but he shared a Prothean language tutorial program. 
It was apparently designed for servant races being inducted into the Empire. Charming cultural clue. Okay, thank you. Oh, nice. Okay, next mission. Eighty percent. Oh god, no! Fuck that! What's gonna happen if I don't have enough? Okay, it just goes... okay. A few deport... Let's go see at the Cerberus lab. I'm afraid to even do, uh, let's see. Where the heck? Where, where is the field deport? Is there one at the? Is there one over here? No. Hmm. I wouldn't mind buying some, but I don't know where they are. I'm literally... Hmm, should I do? I'm, I'm just gonna... I have an idea. I mean, obviously it's gonna go away if uh, once I do a mission, but... I found something. Oh god, Reapers are coming! There you go. I recovered all of it. Faster than light jump successful. Can I even make it over there? 
No, no, I know for a 